this is how you can reverse Brexit. At first we were afraid, we were petrified. How would we manage without Europe standing by our side? Frankly, it's not nice to go and leave them all with Brexit. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here at Just Jake, we talk about all things political. But today we're going to dive into an idea which I'm pretty sure has been on everybody's mind. How to reverse Brexit. Reverse What do you reverse? Oh Lord! Lord Jesus! Oh Lord! Is it even possible? Is it doable? Is it viable? Would it cause more divisions? Would it stoke more divisions within the country? Would it make the country go insane? We don't know. It's been seven long years since the referendum. Seven years since leave won by the tiniest majority known to man. And make no mistake, people, opinions are shifting. Stick around, watch the video all the way to the end as we dive into the possible routes of a Brexit reversal. As always, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, share the video if you like. It helps the channel grow immensely. The channel has been growing immensely. Does anybody remember the Brexit debate? Do you remember the Brexit debate when tensions were so high that people were calling it the new English Civil War. I go now from a corruptible to an incorruptible crown. Remember, the original Civil War ended up with Charles I having his head chopped off and Charles II being in exile for over a decade. But what caught my eye is the historical parallels between Brexit and the English Civil War, the original English Civil War. The side that won, Oliver Cromwell and the Roundheads, the anti-royalists, the parliamentarians won, but they eventually lost. Oliver Cromwell was dug back up and hung, drawn and quartered and branded a traitor to the crown. Even though he had won the civil war against the royalists. Could Brexit see a similar turnaround? Now, fast forward to today and within society the brexit debate has shifted in favor of remain it is now apparently calculated that 60 percent of britons would now like to rejoin the eu 60 percent of britons believe that brexit was a bad idea and would rejoin in a heartbeat if they could not this guy and why do people regret brexit in the first place well it's pretty obvious Remember all their promises about immigration? That's going well, isn't it? Let's send them to Rwanda. The Rwanda scheme costs, it's just electioneering. And how's improving the NHS going? I think we're spending more on the Rwanda scheme than we are helping out the NHS. The NHS, which everybody in this country depends on at one point in their life or another. The NHS is struggling. Immigration remains high. People are getting poorer and the economy is constantly predicted to perform crap. Surprisingly though, these changing sentiments have not translated into political shifts. The Conservatives will never go back on Brexit in a generation because they basically got the biggest majority of this generation because of it. Because of Boris Johnson promising to get it done. Keir Starmer also, on the opposite side of the coin, does not favour rejoining the EU and has even been on record stating that he do basically doesn't want to stir the pot even further. We are we have done Brexit. We passed it through the Commons. Okay. And it would only stoke further divisions within the country if he were to pursue a Brexit reversal or any reformations to the current Brexit deal that we have with the EU. Basically, Keir Starmer will do anything he can to get power and basically he'll go where the money goes. The only real perspective that we have of ever rejoining the EU is through the Lib Dems. But don't forget we are a first past the post system. The first past the post system favours Labour or Conservative. We've had plenty of Lib Dem Prime Ministers. Churchill was even a Lib Dem once or a Liberal. But now it's just Labour and Conservative and they do not offer any real Brexit reversal options on the table. Lib Dems however they, they ran their last campaign with bollocks to Brexit. I guarantee that if they were back in part power, Brexit would be like, I stay, no, you've been a bad deal. You're very strong and stable there, Theresa. <laughs> very strong and stable. <laughs> very strong and stable. <laughs> 
There are two significant objections, the first one being scepticism. The EU may not want us back. Why would they want us back after we shanked them so hard the first time? Brexit referendum was just a successful culmination of two attempts to exit the European Union. We had one in the 70s as well, people tend to forget. While some EU figures remain open to the idea of Britain rejoining the EU, basically because their budgets are in a black hole chasm, and turns out, guys, we used to give a lot of money to those folks, and now they miss our money. But others like France and Macron argue that European countries within the EU have performed better since Britain left the bloc. But I can guarantee you, for a chance to chuck an, an extra few billion quid in there a year, I think the black like, okay, okay, you can come back in, but you have to pay two billion extra a year. Okay. Now let's, let, let's look at it from the EU's perspective. Insight from key figures such as Michel Barnier and Guy Verhofstadt suggests openness to the idea of Britain rejoining. However, warning from EU insiders, we will never get the names of these EU insiders because they're just insiders, indicate, like, like, like I've already said, Britain may not get any preferential treatment and not only have to accept the freedom of movement, do you remember that thing that most of the country voted against the first time round? And to adopt the euro, which we already rejected in the early 2000s. Now, this is the ultimate part of the video. Here is an intriguing proposal. A two referendum process. The first vote scheduled for 2026, a decade after the leave vote won through, would give the UK government permission to negotiate with the EU. A second referendum would follow, allowing the public to vote on the terms of rejoining. It's a bold idea, which I suggest would expedite the process. Now this is, what I, this is what I think. I think that Brexit will be a generational thing. I've mentioned it in previous videos that when this generation of Brexit voters, they've already declared that the demographics of Brexit voters are old, the dumb basically, the poor. Once those generation of people have grew up, matured, become a bit more politically savvy, you will have more people be remain inclined. You will have the younger generation coming up through the ranks who will be remain inclined. And I can see that in a generation, the entire sentiment around Brexit will shift into a remain perspe perspective. And I do see us having some kind of referenda, referendum to rejoin the EU at some point. I can guarantee you now it will be on worse terms because you don't go back to an ex-girlfriend on the same terms. So let's wrap up this video. It took 11 years between Oliver Cromwell winning the English Civil War to Charles II taking back the throne and in general to restore the monarchy. But we've had a monarchy since 1066. <laughs> no, no, no. We were monarchy-less for 11 years, people tend to forget. Can we, do you think we can reverse Brexit within a decade? What are your thoughts on this two referendum process? How do you think it would go? Do you think there is going to be a generational political sentimental shift towards Brexit within the coming generation? Do you think as the young voters ascend through the political ranks, ranks? Is ranks the right word? As they ascend and get older, do you think they will be more inclined to remain? They will be more inclined to pressure for a rejoining of the EU. If you like what you see, comment on the video if you have any counter arguments to my proposition. And as always, subscribe, like the video, share the video. I will see you next time. Remember, make love, not war. Happiness, tranquility, and prosperity. Did you like the video? Then hit the subscribe button or watch some more videos. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps the channel grow. Thank you very much.